Hello, this is Teresa from Whimsical Card Studio. Today I'm excited to be guest designing for the Hedgehog Hollow using their April 2019 card kit. So I'll start with a quick unboxing of the kit and then move on to creating the card. So the first thing you see when you open it is this beautiful postcard. It has a lot of information on the back, including the contents of the kit. And this month they have a Nouveau Shimmer Gold Pen, a hybrid ink pad that's good for Copic coloring or watercolors, a few different sheets of this colored and textured cardstock, and beautiful set of Robin Eggs Blue envelopes, this exclusive stamp and die set from Art Impressions, and of course you need some card bases to make cards with. And the last thing in the kit is this adorable little hedgehog hollow button. So, let's get started. First, I'm taking out the stamp from this kit, and I'm using a piece of Nina Siller White cardstock to stamp on. I will be using the Nouveau Hybrid ink. This is the first time I've ever seen an ink pad from Nuvo, and I have to say I do like the form factor. It's easy to get the lid off, yet it feels snug after you put it back on. And as you noticed, I'm using my Misty positioning tool to stamp because I wanted to be able to stamp multiple times if necessary to get the stamped impressions as dark as I wanted them to be. Now I'm just about ready to start Copic coloring, and while I'm going through that process, I will be playing some music.
And now that everything is colored, I'm ready to start die cutting this out. So when you get the dies out of the packaging, they're all uh, attached. So I'm using my little snips and removing some of the pieces that don't need to be in the center of that birdhouse. It's just a couple little flowers that have to be removed. The rest of the dies are pretty much on the outside of the birdhouse, making them really easy to remove. So I'm just taking a couple of seconds just to get everything pulled apart before I begin die cutting. I will use tape to make sure everything stays in place before I die cut it. And now you can see that I've already done the die cutting and I start removing everything. And it's so cute that the little birdhouse has all these little windows that you can see through. And now I'm going to take it down to slow motion while I do this next step. And I have this, there's this one stem that's in the set and in order to get it facing different directions, the easiest way to do this is to flip the paper around every time you die cut it so you can get it facing the opposite way. And I'm also going to end up saving this piece of paper after I do all these die cuts because I will die cut more than I actually need for this card. And on the next uh, video I do featuring this kit, I'll show you what I did with this panel after cutting out all these different stems out of it. And there's all these little cute little dies to cut out some flowers. So I'm using the four, four largest ones on the pink paper and these three on the yellow. I do need to cut out in one additional yellow flower so that I can use it. I'm going to stack these up and make them more interesting by doing so. So as I'm adding the yellow to the pink, I'm trying to turn them slightly so that the petals are kind of in between the larger petals on the bottom as much as I possibly can. And once these are complete, I will start the process of putting the entire card together. So before I attach this blue piece of paper to the card base, I'm going to trim it down. So I'm trimming off approximately half an inch from each side so that I have a nice uh, white frame around it once I put it on top of the card base. And now that the card base is glued on, I'm going to pop up that colored birdhouse by using some dimensional pop dots or squares <laughs> and putting them so that they're not seen through those windows that are cut out. And so I determine where I want to place it and am putting it towards the left hand side so that I have room for my sentiment on the bottom right hand side. And then I'll start the process of adding all these little die cuts to make it look adorable. So starting with the little branches, I'm adding a little bit of glue at the base of each of these stems and just tucking it behind the birdhouse in three different places. And then after that, I will start adding the flowers and the birds to put it together. And so now I'm ready to prepare the sentiment and I'm going to use the same yellow paper from the kit and I'm stamping it on the side that is not textured. Then my next step is to trim that down so it is very close uh, to the sentiment and I keep checking to make sure that I've cut enough off so that it is going to fit nicely in that corner. And I decided it really did need a frame behind it to make it stand out a bit. So I'm gluing the sentiment to the pink paper from the kit and I'll trim that as well until it is a perfect fit for that corner. And then I'll glue that into place and this card is complete. And I'm going to decorate the envelope real quick just by using some of the bird stamps that are included in the kit and also one of the sentiments from there. I appreciate you watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I hope you'll leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you aren't a subscriber already. Thank you.